Finally, it's time. <laughs> Look at this. Homie wrote the order one of everything. No, it's absolutely insane. <laughs> so this is all hot cheetos. Hot cheetos. Hot cheetos. Hey, what's up? How are you, buddy? Look, dude, he just looks at you, Nick. That's all he does. What is going on, friends? Hope you're all having a great day. I'm filming another food video today. This place that we're about to go to actually seems really, really cool. Their Instagram page kind of just made me want to go here, to be honest, because they do something with their chicken I don't think anyone else in LA does. And I'm super, super hyped. You guys will see when we get there. But first, I gotta show you guys who's back. Look, guys, Cuddy's back. Cuddy, um, how do I even, what do I, what, what happened to Cuddy? So basically, Cuddy has two little discs in the back of his bum area, and he jumped off the couch and burst both of them, and now he has nerve damage and burst disc, and he's paralyzed in the back of his legs. He's gaining a little bit back in his, left leg but yeah his left leg seems seems pretty good but listen honestly like guys I know how sad this is and like it actually like really really breaks my heart that this is happening to this little guy because for those of you guys who don't know Migo and Cuddy they're actually like real brothers like me and Nick got him same at the litter and everything. same litter and everything we got him at the same time and I lived with Cuddy since he was a little guy kind of sucks not being able to see him walk and everything and just be how he usually usually is but one good sign that I I just came over to Nick's and to see Cuddy for like the first time in probably like three or four months since since this happened he is like ridiculously happy he's so happy to be like home. I don't know how just to see everyone this little dude dude like I let walked be, in yo let that be a life lesson to everyone facts like this guy has got I, I mean I don't know many people that got it worse than him look he's just the happiest freaking guy Look so, at him, dude. No matter how bad it can get, guys, it's always there's always a reason to be happy. I'm gonna help Nick figure this out. I'm gonna help Nick try to make this as easy as he can. Um, we gotta get him a new wheelchair. He has a wheelchair right now, but it's just it's just not gonna cut it. We gotta get him a crazy sick, comfortable wheelchair tailored to Cuddy because when he's on his wheelchair, he can walk and do everything that he was doing before. This one, he can move this yeah, one. He moves this one a lot. Yeah. This not the strongest. I honestly think he'll get some feeling back in it and be able look to look at him. Look yeah, at him, see, look at him, you know, he can use that one. It's not much now, but it's it's only it's a been start. A couple months. It's and a start. Knows? We knew this was coming. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, like guys, Cuddy would jump off of couches, out of cars, like fly from couch to couch. Like Migo doesn't do that. He doesn't have as much energy as Cuddy does. Look at him. You know, he's <laughs> just he's just gonna lay his down. Dude, he just wants to be near you, bro. <laughs> no, he's... <laughs> Is that your dad? He's already so attached. Already. Yeah. Like, like he's back to baby attached. It's like your little puppy attachment. Ooh. Is that your dad? Yeah. Dude, he's so cute. Yeah, he's and honestly, dude, he lost weight, but he looks better. You're a good looking like, boy. He looks more healthy. Oh, he was he was fat. Yeah, he was big. Real fat. Should we go get some food? Let's go get some chips and chicks. Should we show him what you do with him? Yeah. They don't like walking in the first place. <laughs> they don't. Oh man. And he's right next to you. He knows he's chilling. Alright, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that is, is good. This is not the most lit that shit. That is ever. great. Cuddy is such a good dog. Is he chilling like that? Is he's he kicking it, bro. Is he comfortable? Yeah, I think so. He's not making any noise or anything. He's chilling. Alright guys, so we're here now. I thought this was a restaurant to be honest, but it's at a car wash. I guess they just put their stand outside of the car wash. They must have like a deal, like a deal or something. Like let's go. Like trim. I thought you were trolling me. I look up and he was he was he wasn't trolling me. It was actually at a car wash place. But the food looks absolutely fire. I cannot wait to show you guys this. For you hot Cheetos lovers, this is for you. If you live in this area, come and get this chicken. Come test it out. Everything they have has hot Cheetos on it. Their chicken, their sandwiches, their fries, their tater tots. What is are you ready to taste, taste yeah, test this, bro? I've seen this all over Instagram. All my friends have came here and tried it. I was like, listen, I gotta come out here and show you guys what this is. If you guys live in Burbank or in the LA area, you guys gotta come check this spot out. But without further ado, it's time to try everything on their menu. So what's going on here? What do we got? So basically what we have is our specialty. We have hot Cheeto fried chicken, which is what we got famous for. But we also have the Nashville option in case hot Cheetos isn't your thing. Uh, so we got sandwiches, tenders, chopped up chicken. 
But yeah, we also have street corn, which is really popular, the Mexican street corn. You guys corn. have that now? Yeah, we do. Oh, I'm down to try that for sure. Right here. Oh my God. This is going to be so good. So this is all hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos? Crushed up. I've never crazy. seen that before. That's what a good idea. Why did I not come up with that? That is such a good idea. Do you guys have to crush it yourself? Yeah, we do. So basically what happened is we started off in Hollywood in the beginning and it didn't really work out. Yeah. So we started looking for new locations and okay. realized there's a good amount of foot traffic in the area. Yeah. And uh, decided to try it out and been here ever Is it always busy? Basically. Because there's a lot of people here. To be honest, like, you don't even really see this in Hollywood. This many people lined up somewhere to get food. So I'm excited. This must be really good. Is this a running car wash here? Uh, yeah. They close, we open. That's That's why you guys are open at 7. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Or 6, right? 6? Six? Yeah, 6, six. to 12. 6 to 12. Every day except Monday. Every day except Monday. Come out here, come try this. I already know it's going to be good. I can just tell. That's the street corn? Yep. Oh my god, dude. I think Cuddy wants a fry. <laughs> Look at this. Homie wrote the order, one of everything. If you love hot Cheetos, again, you need to come here and try this. I'll put all their links in the description. Go follow them. The address is in their Instagram bio. The chicken plate. Chicken plate? Two, two sandwiches, side of fries. The sandwiches, you got coleslaw, pickles, the sauce, and the chicken. Oh my god, bro. Guys, this sounds really good. Insane. Are you excited? Like, what's happening? Next up, we got the chicken fries. So, basically, chicken fries are two chopped up tenders. Okay. You cut them over french fries, throw some sauce on top of it, finish it off with some hot Cheetos. Of course, can't miss the hot Cheetos. So basically in Nashville, we have our own special seasoning mix. Uh, we got the idea mainly from Nashville, but we added our own little uh, spices and certs on the side. So you basically can't get it anywhere else, I can guarantee that. Finally, it's time. It's time to devour all this food. We got fries with chicken on it, cheese, some sauce, hot Cheetos, street corn with hot Cheetos, more street corn with hot Cheetos. This is actually fries, street corn and hot Cheetos. Nashville chicken, fries. We got sandwiches on sandwiches on tenders. I don't even, I'm just gonna take a bite and just try each thing once and let you guys know how it is. So Where I guess- started with? Nashville? I gotta, you start, go, you gotta uh, start with the, the Cheetos. I gotta start with the Cheetos, yeah. Cheetos sandwich right here. Oh my God. Look at that massive mouth. <laughs> How is it? This guy is insane, huh? Is it absurd? It's absolutely. Ooh, come on. It's hot. No. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> it's insane. Let me see. Here. Dude, that. It's really good. Bro, low key. Better than Dave's? It could be better than Dave's. No! It could be better than Dave's. Whoa, this is something special here, boy. Right, we got the Nashville chicken fries. There got you go. A few pieces of chicken right there. Look at that. Oh my god. Um. It is like, there's so many good flavors and just like everything complements each other perfectly. He was right about the Nashville chicken. It's really good. It's really good, 100%. Went, but listen, I went to Nashville three weeks ago and I had real Nashville chicken. So I'm gonna was have it to fire? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're it, the real I'm gonna see judge of this because you went to Nashville. Next up, we got the street corn fries. I've never even think I've had street corn before. I don't even know what it is, but. That oh, looks buddy. You're gonna, oh, you're gonna love it. You're gonna, I, I, you're gonna love street corn. Of course you are. Are you kidding me? It's so good. The sauce. Bro, the hot Cheetos make everything so much better. Really? It's like the perfect amount of spice. It tastes like you're eating hot Cheetos. Let me get a bite of that one. Yeah, try that out. Let me just try this one. Is that insane? That's insane. 
That's insanity. Next up, we have the hot Cheetos chicken tenders. We're gonna grab one. Get a little close up of that. It is filled with hot Cheetos. How do you attack? I don't even know how I attack this, to be honest. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, you just gotta I need to get it. this side, to be honest. I'm just gonna go like this, bro. You just gotta send it. What a bite. Savage. This is some of the best chicken I've ever had. Trim is over there dogging all the fries. What Asshole. do you mean all the fries? Asshole, look, we don't have enough fries. <laughs> He's dogging them all. I'm trying to go to restaurants that are amazing, stuff that I like to eat. I highly recommend this, like seriously. This is actually so good. For a spot like this to be killing it, this, like, it's in front of a car wash, guys. Most of you guys probably aren't gonna trust it, but. Oh, bad. Like sick, dude. It was an Escalade. It wasn't even like a, that guy's an idiot. Tiny bean. With that being said, guys, you guys need to come here and try it. I mean, how can you say no to Hot Cheetos chicken tenders? Like, you can't. I'm putting the camera away, it's time to eat. I have to put the camera away and finish that food. I am so full. That's probably the most I've ate in a super long time. And I got some to go. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I got some, gonna eat it tomorrow, cause it's actually so good. Again, guys, listen, I'm gonna show you guys the area right here. This is where it's at. This is the place, it's right by the car wash. They make the food right here. Please take my advice, do not be turned off that it's not a restaurant. At the end of the day, guys, this is street food, this is how it is. I haven't had street food this good since New York. I would never lie to you guys and tell you guys somewhere is good when it's not. I'm gonna be 100% honest when I'm doing all these types of food videos, and this place right here, chips and chicks, absolutely fire. Why did I never think of putting hot Cheetos on chicken and opening up a shop? Everyone loves hot Cheetos. That being said, for those of you guys who like hot Cheetos, smash that like button, tweet me, message me on Instagram, send me a Snapchat when you guys are here. I wanna see how many of you guys actually come out here and try this food and let me know what you guys think about it. I got home and instantly passed out after eating all that food last night. I just wanna give a huge shout out to Chips and Chicks for hooking that up last night. That food was honestly really, really good. And again, guys, if you live in the LA area and you want some really, really good late night street food, I really recommend you guys go and check them out. Their food is super fresh and it tastes really good. We're so close to a million subscribers. So please, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Dude, I just need a million. I just need a million subscribers. I'm so close. It's right there. I need to hit it. It has to happen. I hope you guys all enjoyed that video. If you did, please smash that like button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.